Top 50 Muscle Cars That Defined the 60s Nineteen sixty Ford Galaxy Sunliner Interceptor three hundred sixty package. In nineteen sixty, Ford introduced the Interceptor three hundred sixty package for the full size Galaxy, specifically with the Starliner body style. The Starliner, a sleek tube or coupe with a sloping roof line, was designed for the high speed NASCAR tracks that Ford aimed to dominate in the early sixties. This package was based on an older 350 V8 engine, which Ford enhanced with a new performance intake system and dual exhaust. They also reinforced the engine internals to handle the increased power output. These modifications resulted in an impressive 360 horsepower rating, making the Interceptor 360 a formidable option for racing enthusiasts and performance car fans. 1960 Chrysler 300F Chrysler's renowned letter car series was known for its exclusive, fast, and luxurious coupes and convertibles, offering top-tier power and comfort. In 1960, they equipped the 300F with a 4, 13 V8 engine, producing 375 horsepower. This upgrade delivered effortless acceleration, marking 1960 as a peak performance year for the series. Additionally, the 300F's exclusivity was enhanced by its limited production, with only 964 hardtops and 248 convertibles made. This combination of power, luxury, and rarity made the 1960 300F a standout in Chrysler's lineup and a coveted model among performance car enthusiasts. 1961 Chevrolet Impala SS One of the first high-performance, affordable cars was born when Chevrolet adapted the 409 truck engine for passenger vehicles. This powerful engine outpaced others on the road. With minor modifications, it could generate up to 409 horsepower, enabling the Impala to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 6 seconds. The success of this transformation marked a significant milestone in automotive history. Chevrolet's innovative approach proved that high speed and power could be accessible without exorbitant costs. This breakthrough not only elevated the Impala's status, but also set new standards for performance cars. The combination of affordability and impressive acceleration made it a popular choice among car enthusiasts and paved the way for future advancements in the industry. Pontiac Catalina for 21 Super Duty In the early 60s, Pontiac's standout model was the Catalina, a full-size two-door coupe equipped with a powerful 389 V8 engine. For those seeking even more power, Pontiac offered a 421 V8 engine with dual four-barrel carburetors, producing 405 horsepower. In 1962, the peak production year, fewer than 180 of these engines were made. Most were installed in the Catalina. But around 16 found their way into the Grand Prix, Pontiac's new luxury coupe. 1961 Oldsmobile Starfire Oldsmobile recognized the potential of future muscle cars with the introduction of the Starfire. As their top-tier model, it featured an engine from larger models. While all large Oldsmobiles used the 390 for V8 engine with a 325 horsepower rating, the Starfire's engine was tuned to deliver 330 horsepower. This enhancement gave the 1961 Starfire its notable performance credentials. 
1960 to Dodge Dart 4, 12 max wedge. In the early 60s, Dodge made a splash in drag racing with several new models, beginning with the formidable Dart 413 Max Wedge. The 1962 Dart, initially a mid-size family car, was available with either six-cylinder or V8 engines and came with a variety of optional features. Although it was originally a high-volume vehicle without racing ambitions, its character changed dramatically when someone fitted it with a powerful for one three wedge engine, featuring high compression and producing up to 420 horsepower. Nineteen sixty to Plymouth Savoy Super Stock four one three. Though mechanically very similar to the Dodge Dart four thirteen max wedge. The Plymouth Savoy Superstock was essentially Plymouth's own take on a high-performance drag racing machine. While it sported a distinct design that set it apart visually from its Dodge counterpart, the underlying platform remained the same. At the heart of the Savoy Superstock was the formidable for 13 wedge engine, which, in its top configuration, delivered an impressive 420 horsepower. This powerful engine and robust platform combined to create a car that was just as formidable on the drag strip as its Dodge equivalent. 1962 Ford Galaxy for 06. The introduction of the new Galaxy brought with it an array of new engine options, among which the most notable was the 406. This powerful engine in its standard configuration produced an impressive 385 horsepower. However, for those seeking even more performance, an optional six-barrel intake system was available, boosting the engine's output to a remarkable 405 horsepower. These high-performance G-code models were a rare sight on the streets, yet they quickly became a favorite on the racetracks, showcasing their capabilities in competitive racing environments. Enthusiasts and racers alike admired the 406 for its robust power and potential for speed, cementing its place in automotive history. 1963 Studebaker of Undy R2 In 1962, Studebaker unveiled the Avanti, a sleek and modern-looking vehicle that represented the company's final effort to achieve profitability. The Avanti's innovative design, construction, and advanced technology captured the attention of car enthusiasts and garnered praise from the motoring press. Initially, the base model of the Avanti lacked significant power, which somewhat limited its appeal. However, Studebaker soon addressed this by introducing the supercharged R to option, which boasted an impressive 289 horsepower, significantly enhancing the car's performance and making it a true competitor in the market. The Avanti remains a notable example of Studebaker's commitment to innovation during a challenging period for the company. 1963 Plymouth Max Wedge 4, 26.
In the 1960s, Mulber enthusiasts were deeply involved in drag racing. Dodge and Plymouth introduced models that could easily be transformed into race cars, including the legendary 1963 Max Wedge for 26. Chrysler claimed the 426 Max Wedge engine produced 415 horsepower with an 11 to 1 compression ratio and 425 horsepower with a 13.5 to 1 ratio. However, many experts believed the actual output was closer to 500 horsepower. This powerful engine solidified the Max Wedge for 26's status in automotive history, reflecting Chrysler's dedication to high performance and innovation during the golden age of drag racing. 1963 Oldsmobile Jetfire The Oldsmobile Jetfire holds a significant place in automotive history, yet it has often been overlooked and underappreciated. This groundbreaking model was built on the compact F85 platform, maintaining its small but mighty 215 cubic inch displacement V8 engine, which produced an impressive 185 horsepower. What truly set the Jetfire apart was its innovative forced induction intake system. By incorporating a Garrett turbocharger, Oldsmobile engineers succeeded in creating the first-ever turbocharged muscle car. This advancement was a remarkable achievement for the time, pushing the boundaries of automotive engineering and performance. Despite its pioneering status, the Jetfire never received the recognition it truly deserved. 1964 Pontiac GTO This car revolutionized the automotive industry, marking the dawn of the mass-produced, affordable muscle car. Introduced as an option for the Tempest Intermediate model, the Tempest GTO offered the American public an unparalleled performance package. For only $295, buyers could choose between a high-performance 396 V8 engine with 325 horsepower or the renowned Tri-Power version boasting 348 horsepower. This vehicle set the standard for power and affordability, becoming a legend in the world of muscle cars. 1960 for Oldsmobile for 4.2 Although the Pontiac GTO is often credited as the first modern muscle car, people are unaware that the Oldsmobile for 42 debuted in the same year as the famous Pontiac. The name for 42 sparked substantial debate at the time, but its meaning was straightforward. The 442 featured a four-barrel carburetor, a four-speed manual transmission, and dual exhausts. Under the hood, it boasted a 330 V8 engine producing 310 horsepower. As an Oldsmobile, it was built and equipped with slightly more refinement compared to similar cars in the GM lineup. Nineteen sixty for Plymouth Barracuda. Plymouth made a notable entrance into the pony car segment with the introduction of the Barracuda, launched just two weeks prior to the Ford Mustang in April 1964. This significant release marked Plymouth's first venture into the pony car market. The Barracuda was ingeniously based on the standard Valiant platform, showcasing three engine options, two, 
inline six cylinder engines and one V8 engine. Although the initial power output of these engines wasn't particularly impressive by contemporary standards. The Barracuda's debut heralded the beginning of what would become one of the most cherished and iconic models in the history of muscle cars. The Barracuda's legacy endures, remembered for its unique place in automotive history and its role in shaping the performance car landscape. 1965 Buick GS 400 Buick designed the GS using their popular midsize Skylark model, following the Pontiac formula. They equipped the light Skylark body with a 400 CID engine, thus creating the GS, or Grand Sport. The nail head engine produced an impressive 325 horsepower. With its high compression heads, the GS 400 offered a truly compelling performance. Establishing itself as a formidable competitor in the muscle car market and cementing its place in automotive history. Nineteen sixty five Chevrolet Chevelle Z one six. What is the Chevelle Z sixteen? Essentially, it is a fully loaded version of the regular Chevelle, equipped with all the performance enhancing options available at the time. These options included the powerful 396 V8 engine paired with a Muncie four-speed gearbox, along with heavy-duty suspension and other specialized equipment. Interestingly, some dealers were unaware of this high-performance variant's existence. Chevrolet, for reasons unknown, decided not to market the Z16 extensively, making it somewhat of a secret model. As a result, only 200 units were ever produced, adding to its rarity and mystique in the muscle car world. 1965 Buick Riviera GS The Riviera was Buick's flagship personal luxury coupe, but in its GS trim, it transformed into something much more extraordinary. This version of the car boasted a re-engineered suspension system, a larger and more powerful 425 cubic inch engine, and a variety of other performance-enhancing upgrades. These modifications elevated the Riviera GS to a world-class level, showcasing its superior engineering and design. The powerful engine produced an impressive 360 horsepower, allowing the Riviera GS to achieve acceleration times of 7.9 seconds. This performance was remarkable, surpassing the capabilities of many sports cars of that era and cementing the Riviera GS as a standout in automotive history. 1965 Chevrolet Nova SS The Nova was the lightest model in Chevrolet's lineup making it the fastest as well. For the 1965 model year, Chevy engineers equipped it with a 327 V8 engine, offering an optional 300 horsepower rating. This enhancement made the Nova an impressive performer, particularly appealing to speed enthusiasts seeking an affordable option. With its lightweight design and powerful engine, the Nova provided a thrilling driving experience without breaking the bank solidifying its reputation among budget-conscious car lovers. 1965 Ford Mustang to 89 Hypo
Many consumers were captivated when they first encountered the Mustang in 1964. The K-Code featured a 289V8 engine, but it had a milder, more street-friendly configuration. It produced 271 HP, which met the performance expectations of Mustang enthusiasts. Additionally, buyers could opt for the GT package, which included a stiffer suspension, improved equipment, and numerous exterior enhancements. These features made the 289 Hypo, or High Power, the preferred choice for true car aficionados. Nineteen sixty five Pontiac Catalina two plus two. In nineteen sixty five, Pontiac introduced another iconic muscle car, the Catalina two plus two, alongside the GTO. This high-performance vehicle featured engine options including the 400 and the renowned for 21 V8 with the tri-power intake system. This high-performance vehicle featured engine options including the 400 and the renowned for 21 V8 with the tri-power intake system. 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle SS396 For the 1966 model year, Chevrolet enhanced the Chevelle with the new SS396 package, aiming to deliver the high performance needed to rival their competitors. The 396 V8 engine, paired with the optional intake system, boasted an impressive 375 horsepower. This upgrade quickly gained popularity among street racers across America. 1966 Dodge Coronet for 26 Hemi. The street Hemi made a triumphant return in the Coronet, instantly transforming this ordinary two-door sedan into a high-powered machine. Officially rated at 425 horsepower, it actually produced over 500 horsepower. Unfortunately, due to its high cost, it sold in limited numbers. 1966 Dodge Charger In 1966, Dodge introduced the Charger as a mid-year addition, marking its entry into the muscle car class. Built on the Chrysler B-body platform, it shared many mechanical and chassis components. With less exciting Dodge models like the Coronet, the Charger's top-tier engine, the powerful for 26 Hemi, was capable of outperforming all its competitors on the drag strip. 350. For the 1966 model year, Ford and Shelby introduced a toned-down version of their original race car, the GT350. This version retained the high-revving to 189V8 engine, delivering 306 horsepower. However, it was made easier to handle and more comfortable, transforming it from a race monster into a muscle car. 
1967 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. In 1967, Chevrolet introduced the Camaro as a direct competitor to the Mustang, offering several performance options. Among them was the legendary Z28 package, which included front disc brakes and a close ratio 4 speed manual transmission. The Z28 also featured revised suspension and steering, along with exterior trim details such as racing stripes, a vinyl roof, and headlight covers. However, the true highlight was under the hood. A high-revving 5-liter V8 engine that produced 290 horsepower, 